Uh, good morning, everybody. Good morning. Glad to see everyone of you here. And uh, thank you for coming today to the church. We don't glorify ourselves or others, but we glorify God. Amen? Amen. We will be studying, because this is our Friday school, we will be studying uh, this morning about life. About life. One of the most important things that God gave to us is our life. Amen. Amen. Have you ever thank God for your life? Huh? This is how we thank uh, God for so many things. But sometimes we forgot to thank God of our life. And one of the most important things uh, in us is our life. That's why our topic this morning is handling life with care. How, you, how to handle your life with care? B because this life is a precious, uh, precious thing that God gave it to us. So how to handle things? Uh, God gave us these things so that we can, we can handle life uh, with care. You know, I, I got some picture here of a person sitting at the edge of the, of the rock. You know, uh, he came for his life. He will not sit there if it is not, uh, if it is not uh, safe to, to sit. So before sitting there, he need to check everything that uh, the stone can hold him and uh, he can support him. Why even sit up the edge? <laughs> <laughs> to enjoy life. <laughs> anyway, let us all stand and open your Bible uh, to uh, Genesis chapter 9. We will just read the uh, chapter, uh, verse 12 to 15 together. Chapter 9, 12 to 15. Are you there? No. Okay, ready, start. And God said, this is the token of the covenant which I made between me and you and every living <coughs> for the 12th generation. I will set my bow in the clouds, and it shall be for a token of a covenant between me and the earth. And it shall come to pass, when I bring cloud over the earth, that the bow shall be seen in the cloud. And I will remember my covenant, which is between me and you, and every living creature and all flesh. And the water shall no more become flood to destroy all flesh that is pray. Lord God, from heaven, I pray, Lord, that you guide us, Lord, this morning and uh, help me, Lord, to speak uh, according to your words, Lord. I pray, Lord, that you empower me, speak through me, Lord, this morning and help us, Lord, to understand, Lord, the things, Lord, you want us, Lord, to know, Lord. Thank you for your love. Thank you for this day in Christ. And say, we pray, amen. You may all be seated. So actually our uh, text is uh, from Genesis chapter 9, 1 to, uh, 1 to 17. And the whole, uh, the whole thing here from 1 to 17. But I'll, I'll be speaking, I'll be explaining from 1 to 17 parts by parts. So just, just, uh, just open your Bible, speak to this. Uh, put a mark on this uh, chapter. We will be going uh, uh, other other verses, but uh, we will be going back to this main text of ours tonight, uh, this morning. Now, hundred here is in Genesis chapter one. We start here, and God blessed Noah. The Bible said, and his son, and said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth. Be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth. This, in this passage of scripture, God addressed Noah and his family uh, 
and give them instruction concerning four areas of life. This instruction applies to all people in all ages and all places. These are permanent ordinances from God to all humanity and must not be ignored or altered. Now, the first closely, uh, institution that was uh, uh, that was made uh, given by God is the family, and this is the, the design came from God. He, this is the first institution that was uh, made, and that was that was designed by God. You have the family. Above is the father, then you have the mother, then the children. And above this father, mother, and the children is God. So this is the design God had uh, introduced to us. Uh, he, he made Adam. He made uh, Eve. And he said, be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth. So this is the, the original plan of God for us to, to, to have a family. That's why uh, marriage is sacred to God. Uh, because of this institution that God had uh, founded. Now, we, we can find uh, the ark of God uh, during in, in Noah's time, oh, he, here we can we can see the purpose of the of the ark. He said, "By faith, Noah, being warned of God of things not seen as yet, moved with fear, prepared an ark, what saving of his house, uh, the family of Noah. So Noah was there, his wife." and his children uh, and the wife of his children. So it is a, 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 the, the one that was saved is his family. He's saving his house by which they condemned, uh, which they condemned by the which he condemned the world and become heir of the righteousness which is by faith. Um, this already uh, number one number one we can find the multiplying life oh the, the the question is how to handle life handle life with care handling life with care we can see number one is multiplying life letter a this is god's command we can we can uh, we can uh, uh, go back to the to the first command that God had given to Adam and Eve. That is on uh, uh, on Genesis nine uh, seven. He said, "And and you, I know, uh, two 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 times God commanded Noah about be fruitful and multiply." First in uh, Genesis 9.1 and second in Genesis 9.7. Now, uh, this, was all, this was a re-establishment of the Adamic command that was given, uh, 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 that was given to, to Adam and Eve on Genesis 1.22 and 1.22. This was uh, this was given to the to the animals and also uh, living things to, to be fruitful and multiply. That's the difference between 122 and 128. 128 was given to Adam and Eve to be fruitful and multiply. Even the living creatures were commanded to be fruitful and multiply. That's why they are multiplying. Now, uh, the question is, if Adam and Eve did not sin, will they still multiply? Uh, because they were given the command, be fruitful and multiply. 
That is your assignment. <laughs> from the line of Shin, from the line of Shin came the Jewish nation, and from that nation came the Redeemer. So we can see uh, the lineage uh, out of the out of this, the replenish, the multiply, and we can see now the lineage of the Lord Jesus Christ came uh, into being. We, we can see here that the, the three uh, sons of Noah, uh, she, uh, Japheth, Shem, and Ham. Uh, actually, if you really uh, study the Bible, uh, it is not uh, uh, it is not in order when when the, when when the Bible uh, talk about Shem, Ham, and Japheth. But when you study it, you can find that Japheth is the elder. Uh, he's the oldest. Then, then uh, Ham uh, see the nakedness of his father. That's why Jap Shem and Japheth uh, cover the the the, uh, the uh, nakedness of Noah and taking uh, walking back uh, to Noah. And he's, he's telling that he's, uh, Ham is younger. Uh, Ham is younger. So, Japet, uh, uh, Shim, and then uh, Ham is the uh, they, they young. Now, we will, we will check the lineage of Shim uh, from Noah. Uh, we can see Shim here. And this is the lineage, Arpaxa, Sela, Eber. Then from, from Eber, there's two sons, Peleg and Joktan. But uh, the lineage goes to Peleg, Rio, Serum, Nahor, Terra. Then to Abraham. Abraham to David, and David to uh, the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, Japet, this is uh, people that goes to Asia Minor and Europe. Shem, Shem are people of Assyria and Middle East. Uh, that's uh, 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 Abraham came from Ur of Chaldees. That's the area of Assyria. Then Ham, uh, this is the descendants of Africa and parts of Arabia. And Ham was known as a black man. Uh, uh, same like uh, Kosh uh, and, and Put. So we can we can see the the lineage here. Now uh, they, they repopulate the 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 world. Uh, Shem, Ham, and Japan. Here in uh, Genesis 9, 9, 18 to nineteen, he said, and the sons of Noah that went forth of the ark were Shem and Ham and Japheth, and Ham is the father of Canaan. 19, these are three sons of Noah, and of them was the whole earth overspread. Japheth has seven sons, Ham has four sons, and Shem has five sons. So from this, uh, yeah, they, they replenish the earth. But, uh, before they replenish, uh, there, there is some rebellion that came out. Uh, because Kash, uh, the son of, of Ham, uh, has a son named Nimrod. So Nimrod uh, hinders the plan of God. Here we can see in Genesis 11, uh, verse 4 said, And they said, Go to, let us build a city and a tower for stop the reach into heaven, and let us make us name. He said, Lest we be scattered abroad upon the face of the whole earth. This, this is the word from Nimrod. And the, the command of God is to, to replenish, multiply and replenish them. But, uh, Nemrod under the plan of God. Nemrod, the name Nemrod means re, re, rebe, uh, Nemrod rebel against God. And the name Nemrod meaning rebel. 
So don't, don't, uh, if you have a son, don't name him Nimrod. <laughs> because the, the meaning of Nimrod is rebel. So <laughs> maybe some rebel, rebel Christian will call him Nimrod. Nimrod, uh, they, he, he stopped and he opposed the command of God to go and multiply. But you know, God uh, intervened. <coughs> You can see the grace of God here. Uh, he intervened uh, about things that He wants to do. God plan always prevails. In 11:7, He said, "Go, to, uh, go to again the Trinity." You can find here. He said, "Let us go down. Let us go down and there confound their language." that they may not understand one another's speech. So the Lord scattered them abroad. See? The Lord scattered them abroad. Oh, you cannot hinder God's plan. Amen. God has a way oh, to, to fulfill His plan. Amen. And the Lord scattered them abroad from hence upon the face of the earth, and they left up build the city. Therefore is the name called Babel, because the Lord Peter confound their language and all the earth and found them did the Lord scatter them abroad upon the face of the earth. That's why we we have uh, word languages, so many languages, and now the population of the world is 7.4 billion in county. So, so God's plan prevails. Amen. <laughs> See? Amen. So we cannot, we cannot oppose God. He's a sovereign God. He yes. knows what He's doing. Amen. So the, the, this is when He commands, just follow it because that is His plan. Amen. Um, we uh, Nimrod tried to oppose it, but God uh, intervened because of His grace. Number two in multiplying life, we have God's favor. Yes. We have God's favor. Letter A, God commanded Noah, and letter B, children are the evidence of God's favor. Yes. Uh, why, why, why we should, uh, uh, why we should uh, uh, bear children. Uh, number one, we follow God's command. Number two, it is a favor from God. Uh, uh, here in, in Psalms 127, uh, 3, 4, it said, Lo, children are an heritage of the Lord, and the fruit of the womb is His reward. Uh, only three. Psalms 3 said, Thy wife shall be as a fruitful vine by the sides of thine house. Thy children, like olive plants, run about thy table. It's nice to have children in, in the family. Uh, it is a heritage from God. That's why uh, we, uh, uh, when, you, when you ask me, Brother Joseph, that was given long time, long time ago from Noah. So it is not applicable right now because we already overpopulated the earth. No. It is still a, a, applicable today because the, the command of God doesn't change from, from, uh, from Noah until now. Oh, because, you know, I, I see the statistics. There are, there are, uh, there are three and every and every second, there are three babies born, uh, and every second and one, one die. Uh, not baby, people, people dying every second one, but baby are born three. So that's why our our earth is repopulating. If we stop populating. Uh, if we stop uh, 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 bearing child, the death will not stop. 
Every second, still people die. But, but, the, but the rate of birth lowers. What will happen? Oh, after some time, all people will be God. Oh, if we stop, if we stop the, the command of God. That's why we need to follow God's command. Oh, without, without any, any question. Oh, pag nag-asawa ka, kailangan may anak kayo. Walk, don't plan that you don't want to have children. Oh, oh, plan to, to have more children. The more, the more is better. <laughs> the more is better. <laughs> but this is a heritage. This is a blessing from God. Oh, there are people who want to have a, a child, want to have a, a, a baby. But uh, they don't. They, they they cannot. But you know, there are so uh, so many people that God bless them with a baby. They kill the baby. It's very sad. Huh? You uh, those people are not following God's command. No, they are opposing God's command. Abortion is evil, wicked, and murder. Amen. We, we oppose abortion. Amen. Oh, see, see, this, this already, this already human, human being. Oh, they, they breath, they, they have heartbeat. They can, they can, they are eating. They can respond. Oh, these things are abortion. Abortion is. Abomination with God, even wicked and murder. Okay. Let us uh, let us see what the Bible is telling about uh, these things. No, in Matthew 1:28, that the term uh, the Bible use on a pregnant woman, you can see is with child. See, uh, is, is that a virgin shall be with child? And shall bring forth a son. At mga anak siya. Oh, with child, magbubunti siya. Uh, and bring forth a child. And Matthew 24, 19, Who unto them that are with child? And to them that give suck on those days. Uh, at mga anak. Revelation 12, 2. And she being with child. The term, the term that uh, the Bible used is with child. But the word, the, the, the word used pregnant. Pregnant, why? Because pregnant is say, containing developing embryo. So meaning developing, there is still no life. Embryo, fetus, or unborn offspring, unborn offspring within the body. <coughs> so they, they define a pregnancy that uh, during the pregnancy, there are time, there are span of time, that uh, a baby uh, still not, not uh, formed, and you cannot call it a human being, or a baby, or with a life, because it's still developing. But when you use the term in the Bible, he said, with child, with child, so meaning from day one until the nine months, this already known as child inside this, inside a woman. So you cannot kill a child that is murdered. That's why when when people do abortion, it is even wicked and murder. Oh, because that is a child already. Oh. That's why, that's why, and those people will face God later on. The command of God is go and multiply and replenish the earth. And God bless them with the, that is a heritage from God. They bless them with the ch child, with the children. But they destroy the blessing from God. You know, if we just, uh, if we just, um, um, think about the the plan of God. Think about uh, how God prepared a family. You will really enjoy your family. 
Oh, you, you enjoy your family watching your children, watching your children grow, uh, teaching your children, guiding your children. Because this is a gift and a heritage from God. Number two, sustaining life. Sustaining life. Letter A, God's choices. There are God's choices. Nine, uh, Genesis 9 verse 2. Uh, I will read 9 uh, verse 2. He said, And fear uh, of you and the dread of you shall be upon every beast of the earth and upon every fowl of the air, upon all that move upon the earth and upon all fishes of the sea, and to your head are they delivered. Every moving things that live it shall be meat for you, even as the green herb have I given you all things. To sustain life, God, we will follow God's choices. So, uh, we, will, uh, we will base on biblical things. Now, in Adamic, the Adamic food, we will go back to Adam. Adamic food, only, they are limited only for herb and fruits. Herb and fruits, that's why they live longer. <laughs> they live 900 years. Because they are commanded to eat only herb and fruit. Okay. This is what we are eating. Herb and fruit. Uh, okay. And after the flood, and after the flood, in Genesis uh, chapter 9, 2 and 3, there are some changes. Some changes of the of the menu, <laughs> some changes of the food. Okay, um, mas maganda yung ano na dito menu. <laughs> May karikari na. Kaso lang umiksi naman yung buhay. <laughs> and the fear of you, and the dread, and the dread of you shall be upon every beast of the earth and upon every fowl of the earth upon all that move it upon the earth lahat na, na gumagalaw and upon all the fishes of the sea kaya kay pating with yun into your hand and they deliver every moving thing that live it shall be meat for you even as the green herb have I given you all things so it changed. Before it's green and some fruits. Uh, now it's it's now ham. <laughs> and now, now now the green herb is only side dish. <laughs> at, at, least, <laughs> at least we have green herb. <laughs> but the main dish now is is bacon. <laughs> ham. <laughs> There are some changes. So, uh, uh, the, uh, he said, every moving thing that live it shall be your, uh, meat for you. So, walang limit. We don't have any limit what to eat. We can eat everything. So, uh, there, there are unclean foods. The question is, are we prohibited to eat unclean foods? Because, during Moses' time, the uh, Jews was limited to eat unclean food. In Acts 10, 12 to 15, it says here, where, where all manners of four food, and this is uh, now uh, uh, Peter fall in a trance, then God showed him these things. And in verse 1, where he said, he saw uh, all manners of he said, but Peter said, not so, Lord, for I have never eaten anything that is common or unclean. And the boy speak unto him again and said unto him, what God hath cleansed, uh, that, uh, that call not thou common. So, uh, first of all, unclean foods, 
or painful, uh, this law was given only for the Jews. So we have Gentiles who are not bound with, with that. And number two, uh, God already cleaned the food. Uh, and this is also the reflection of the Gentiles and the Jewish. He said, uh, there is no more boundary. Uh, what there is no more uh, restriction of, of, the, of Jews and the Gentiles. Uh, that's why both can be now saved. The, the gospel also uh, uh, was given to the Gentiles. The same thing with circumcision. Before, circumcision is only for the Jews. And now it's also with the Gentiles. So there are, there are uh, restrictions before. And this is, uh, the, they, they are following the ceremonial law. But ceremonial law uh, was uh, already removed, but the moral law we still follow. Okay? So this is the, this during the Old Testament. But, uh, but again, those unclean foods is not healthy uh, as the science uh, proved it. <laughs> Re, this is uh, this is reconfirming of his command to Noah when he said every moving thing that liveth shall be meat for you even as the green herb have I given all things so binalik na lang ng Panginoon kung ano yung kinaman ni Lord kay Noah uh, during that time so uh, you can eat anything uh, if you want here is the food and different food. <laughs> you can eat starfish now. <laughs> you can eat seahorse. You can eat Adidas. <laughs> they said Adidas is exotic food. And also Taho, Balot, Crocodile, Barbecue. <laughs> And it's a big food uh, that the uh, uh, lichen pig. <laughs> but uh, you know, uh, uh, science says that uh, this, this will this, this is not good food. Start with the young boy. Number two, uh, let there be God's restriction. God's restriction. He said you can eat everything. But there is one restriction God has given to us. In Genesis 9, 4, he said, But flesh with life thereof, which is the blood, thereof shall ye not eat. This is, this is God's restriction. This is uh, God gave us the command, the law, not to eat blood. In Leviticus 17, 11, he said, For the life of the flesh is in the blood, and I have given it to you upon the altar to make an atonement of your sin, for it is the blood that maketh atonement for the soul. So, we, we, uh, eating blood is respected. Walang dinubuan. <laughs> Sorry. Walang barbecue na anong tawag mo? <laughs> Vitamax. <laughs> so, it is respected. Be before, before we don't know, before we don't know, we eat, uh, we eat dinubuan, we eat blood. But now you know, that is the restriction from God. Oh, God brings you here so that you will know that eating blood is respected because uh, the life of the flesh is in the blood. Is in the blood. But science also proved that the, that the deadliest part of the body is the blood. Every everything uh, in animals and also in in man. The, 
we have so many disease from the blood. That's why people eating blood, they can take uh, easily diseases because they are eating blood. So number two, that is sustaining life. Uh, this is restriction, God's restriction. Uh, also, uh, in Leviticus uh, 17, 14, he said, uh, uh, again, the, the same thing, but in Acts 15, 29, he said, that he abstained from the meats offered to idols and from blood, uh, and from blood. Also, in the Old Testament, you can see that uh, the, the blood is restrained. Uh, to it. Not only the blood that was uh, restrained, also food that is offered to idols. What are food offered to, to the idols? During fiesta, uh, they have patron. They, they have always a patron in fiesta that they, they cook and they celebrate the festival. So that is for the food that is offered for the idol. Uh, this also not uh, prohibited. Uh, letter three, uh, number three is protecting life. Do you want to make a part two of next week? Because this lesson is very good and we don't want to rush up. Would you like to continue three and four next week? Three and four, okay. Para mas ma-digest natin, maganda kasi yung ulit niya. So if you can just wrap up number one and number two, okay. I can have the part two next week, I think. We will not rush into discussing the third and fourth point for the sake of time. So I think we will uh, okay. Okay. Uh, we will, we will continue the uh, uh, three and four. Three and four is, uh, we will go on the... <laughs> okay, uh, three and four is protecting life. Uh, we will be discussing God's pro prohibition and God's pa punishment. And number four, enjoying, enjoying life. We will be discussing God's covenant and God's comfort. So we just finished uh, in, uh, multiplying life, which we, which we uh, discussed about God's command. God's command is go and replenish the earth. Go ye and multiply and replenish the earth and God's uh, favor the children are the heritage or gift from God and we have we discussed about sustaining life and that is God's choice uh, God's choice is uh, uh, things na sinulat niya sabi niya na pwede natin kainin but there is God's respection God's distraction that we cannot eat the blood or disease with uh, the, the life of the uh, uh, the life is in the blood. So next week we'll just continue the three and four, protecting life and enjoying life. Thank you and God bless you. Brother uh, would you please assist me? Okay, you will take this again, but Let's go through from the first because the lesson is so good and uh, Brother Tuchin did so much research, especially towards the beginning. But you cannot do from the start, especially for the sake of the ones who just came in. I feel sorry for you that you won't be able to at least uh, uh, see. Uh, let, let's go from the, from the start and then just uh, take you through until the, the last slide. So this is the title for the lesson today, Handling Life with care and uh, you see to it that what you are sitting is safe, okay? But my suggestion is please don't go and sit at the ends, okay? Uh, 
if you especially if you feel heights. Okay, let's let's go. Uh, now, okay, this is the verse uh, about the the Lord reiterated that His command that was given to my hey, sister Jamal. Yeah, you're back. I'm happy to see you. Uh, the Lord gave the command to Adam and Eve, okay, to replenish, and then after the flood. Uh, all of God's creation was destroyed besides the fish and the ones inside the earth. And so God had to reiterate the uh, command that was already given to Adam and Eve. It was now given to uh, Noah and his family, okay, to multiply. Now we have here the first institution that was established by God back in the Garden of Eden, and that is uh, here is the who is our authority. Tell me, who is our authority? And then now we have the delegated authority. And next to that is the father and then the mom and then the, the children. When you rearrange the order, the Lord is not glorified. The Lord is not magnified. And that is where Satan is already attacking the homes. The home is God's institution and therefore it becomes a center of diabolic attacks. Amen. Okay? So if we do not follow that order, there will always be a problem. We are giving room to Satan to operate. Amen. And Christians, Christian homes are not exempted in this. Amen. Okay? Know your role in the family. If you are the husband, you are the spiritual leaders. In our generation, the wives are taking over. Amen. They have taken over the church, they have taken over the government, they have taken over the homes. That's why we have so many problems in our society today. Amen. Okay, you may not agree with this, but it's happening. True. In Christian homes, even in preachers' homes. Amen. Okay, and uh, let's go to the next. Okay, uh, this is uh, during the flood, when everything has been destroyed. Next. Okay, now here is, I like the way he, re he revised the outline that we made, okay? We have God's command, and that is to multiply. And Brother Jusil cited about the story of Nimrod. You know the story of Nimrod? Uh, I said this several times, I don't know if you can give me the answer now. When God is not permitted to rule, He what? Our rules. Because He's sovereign. Amen. If He chose to. Sometimes he doesn't overrule, he'll just let you know. Because, again, he can do what he wants. Either to intervene or not to intervene. It's up to him. Okay, uh, Okay. so we have the command. And second, we have what? After that, uh, here you see how, if I were you, I would be taking a picture of this. So you will see the lineage and how uh, we have the, we are tracing the, the ancestry line from Adam to Noah and then from Noah down to the Lord Jesus Christ. That is the, that is the story here. So the lineage uh, did not come through the family of, uh, of Japheth or Ham, but through the lineage of Shem. Okay? Again, it's, uh, ja it's uh, Japheth, the older brother. And then Shem, and then you have Ham. Okay, next. <coughs> we have the, this is how the earth was repopulated. Again, you can go to Brother Ibo in fact, in fact and ask for a copy of this if you want. That would be very good. Next, let's share uh, the next slide. Okay, can we? Okay, so that's what we were saying earlier. Let's go, let's move on. Um, and the Lord confounded the language. Let's move on. Uh, and then we have God's favor. Okay, he talked about having children. Children are heritage from the Lord. Amen? Amen. We believe that abortion is wrong. Yeah. It's wicked. It's sinful. In the U.S., they it's uh, they legalize abortion. Uh, I don't care who legalize abortion. It is still wrong in the sight of God. It is murder of infants. You are killing somebody who is not able to defend themselves. Amen. Okay. I hope that God will kill all the abortionists. Amen. Okay. They deserve to die and not the kids. Okay. So <coughs> that's where we stand in the Word of God. We are not for gay marriage. We are not for same-sex marriage. We are not for abortion. Those are wicked before the Lord. Amen. Okay. Now. Uh, let's go. Please get a copy of this. So, second is sustaining life. What is God's original provision for man? 
Herbs. Herbs and fruits. Okay? Herbs and fruits. But after the flood, what happened to herbs and fruits? Everything has been what? Has been? Has been destroyed by the flood. Where will you get fruits and uh, plants after the flood? After one year that the earth was covered with the water, saka kukuha ng kamote or fruits. There was not. And so, God had to give them a... Uh, God allowed them at the time. The Lord said, every creeping thing, pwede nang kainin niya. That's why, Brother Dave, when you go to the Philippines, we eat worms, we eat crickets, we eat... You know? Because that's what God said. If you didn't eat those, you are not disobeying the Lord. You are disobedient, okay? You know? Uh, somebody said, you just think, you know, that's why Adam and Eve, they were not Asians. You know why? If Adam and Eve were Asians, they should have eaten the serpent. There would be no more problem today. <laughs> we eat snakes, brother. If you don't believe like that, we do eat snakes. I, I do. I, I eat lizards. I eat you know, those uh, worms from the uh, rotten tree. Those are good. I mean fresh. They have the Just take the head and uh, clean it and bite it and it, it explodes in your mouth. Very rich in protein. I'm telling you. And you don't eat those in heaven. That's why you have to eat those now. Okay? Okay. So, but, you know, I'm not joking. You know, those are good. You miss... Uh, you don't know what you're missing. Okay? But again, the Lord said you can eat those things. But it is still best to eat fruits and vegetables. Because that is God's original provision for men. Now, uh, again, the restriction that God made. Again, we have individual soul liberty, okay? Do not criticize Him. Do not criticize me. Do not criticize the Word of God. Pero, it's up to you. What will you do? Are you going to distort the Word of God? Babaliin nyo ang salita ng Panginoon. Nasa sa inyo yan. Can you give that, the, the verse in Acts chapter 15? Okay? Towards the end. Uh, let's read that verse, okay? Let's go to the verse. Uh, uh, again, blood, okay? Uh, besides the Old Testament, let's go to uh, Acts chapter 15. Uh, are you, you see this? The advice for the Gentile believers is that they abstain okay, from meats offered to huwag kayong kakain ng mga pagkain na naalay sa mga fiesta. Okay? Hindi po mga na yan. Hindi po mga na yan. And from blood. And from things what? Strangled. Yung hindi lumabas ng dugo. Okay? Kung sa ilong ko pa mga nakuga ng mga sapat. Bawal na kauron dapat. And from what? Fornication. Fornication. They are under the same bracket. So if it's okay to eat blood, it's okay to eat meats offered to idols, it's okay to eat strangled blood. Fornication is also okay. Why remove one thing from the list and approve the other? Do you understand what I'm saying? Oh, ayun yung mag-amen kasi kumakain kayo, you know? Uh, and then the only reason, pastor, masarap kasi. It's, it's, okay? What did the Bible say? Genesis 3. And when the woman saw that the tree was good for? Masarap kainin, kaya kinain. Hindi lahat ng masarap kainin, dapat kinakain. Okay? At saka kung kakain mo ngayon ng mga meats, hinay-hinay na. Paminsan-minsan. Once a day. Okay? Uh, uh, but I hope you learn something here. Amen? Yeah. We we'll give you the word. Now, if you decide na baliin nyo ang salita ng mayroon, and go your way, it's up to you. Our responsibility is to declare the word of God. Now that you heard it, it's between you and the Lord. Hey, okay, it's between you and the Lord. Ako baha ng kamatis na lang. Uh, slice mo yung kamatis, lagyan mo ng kunting asin, Tapos hanggang dito lang naman sa lila yung sarap niyan eh. Ilang seconds lang yan. Hindi ka pa sigurado kung tama yung ginawa mo or not. At least kung kamatis ka lang or sibuyas, uh, mangangaboy ka nga lang, pero at least uh, safe. Uh, so I hope that we will, you know, we will do what we can to uh, be obedient to the Word of God. And did you learn something today? Yeah. We learned so much and uh, we don't want to rush into this. And so part two and part three, whoever is making the lesson for next week, please uh, include, review natin yung first two, and then go to point number three and 
Și apare un cod. Probabil tu să-l pare numai tot ora next time. Ok? Uh, ok. Uh, I hope you're blessed. And uh, so we pray. And uh, Brother Ronald, can you lead us in a word of prayer, please? Okay. Kind uh, and red, malakas and voices. Let's uh, all bow our heads, close our eyes, as we close our Friday school.